Take time to check the length of the tertiary hoses when you receive your new 3310. These hoses run from the secondary manifolds out to the openers and mid-row banders. When in the field position and the openers are lowered down to the ground, the hoses should always maintain a downward slope and not rub excessively on any drill components. Shorten any hoses that are too long to reduce the risk of plugging. Take special care on the outer wings of larger machines. Remember, the openers can travel downward from their normal working position, so it is also important not to cut the tertiary hoses too short. After hose length changes, you may not be able to notice any kinking or pinching points while in the field. So check the hoses by winging the drill up and down. Once the drill has been brought out to the field, the 3310 must be unfolded into field position before the start of seating. Before the winging out procedure, check that the area around the drill is free of any objects and that any people are well away from the unit. The first step is to remove the transport lock pins. Once the lock pins are removed, check that the PHD openers and MRBs are all the way up. There are line locks inside the hydraulic valve block to prevent settling, but they may lower a bit over long transport distances. Use the depth remote circuit to raise the openers and banders into their full upright position. You are now ready to engage the wing lift remote to unfold the drill into field position. Once the unit is unfolded, release the wing lift remote. This remote is no longer required during the field operation of the unit. You can now engage the depth control hydraulics for operation. Lock the remote for the depth control circuit into the engaged position. Then turn power onto the model 400 control box. Check that the depth control is working properly by using the toggle on the control box to raise and lower the openers. You may now engage the remotes for the air seater fan or fans as required. The 3310 has been unfolded in the field with the wing lift remote disengaged. Both the depth control remote and the fan remote are engaged. Power to the model 400 control box is on. The PHD openers and the mid-row banders are lifting and lowering by flipping the toggle. Notice that the pressure increases and decreases on display of the control box gauge. We are currently in the raised position. Flipping the switch lowers the openers and mid-row banders into the ground. When the openers and the mid-row banders are fully engaged in the ground, we will see our pressure setting is at 700 PSI down pressure. Increasing and decreasing is as easy as a touch of the toggle. Holding the toggle will give continuous adjustment up and down. One click of the toggle up or one click of the toggle down is an incremental change of 50 PSI. The procedure for getting through wet areas of the field is a little different with the 3310 than standard hoe drills. If you begin to raise all the openers and mid-row banders, all the drill's weight will transfer onto the caster wheels and rear carrying wheels and possibly aggravate the situation. A better procedure is to quickly switch power off to the model 400 control box. Doing this immediately relieves all the pressure to the openers as well as a majority of the trip pressure and draft on the tractor. Packing pressure is also relieved and with the packer wheel still on the ground, this helps to distribute part of the drill weight. Once you make it through the wet spot, just turn the power of the control box back on. You'll notice that when we turn off power to the box, the pressure display doesn't change. The reason for this is it is an electric gauge that retains the last known pressure setting. Even though the PHD control block on the hitch shows that the pressure is really zero PSI, the electric gauge remembers the last save pressure setting. This may seem deceiving, but if the model 400 control box is powered off, there will be no pressure back to the openers and packer wheels. It is important to achieve the proper seed depth for the crop type and seedbed conditions. This procedure will help you set the 3310 PHD as efficiently as possible. Here we are adjusting the depth down to hole number 8. Once adjusted, check the furrow depth of the opener to see what it provides for a seeding depth. We want to adjust only one opener at this time to compare to the original settings and to minimize time taken to set the drill. 
Next, we run a pass with the seating unit for about 50 to 75 yards to get a sample of how the new setting will work. Locating the run of the adjusted arm, we use a seed digger to determine the actual depth of the seed. Based on this run, we found there was a little more than a half inch of depth with the PHD arm set at hole position 8. We found that this is the seed depth we are after, so we're going to set the whole machine to this. We will go back to each one of the openers, remove the pin, adjust the arm to position 8, then replace and secure the pin. You may wish to set the openers that run in the tractor tracks one hole up or down to compensate for compaction. Remember to use similar packing pressures for depth setting as you want to use for field operation. You will get a good indication of the soil movement by the packer tire and you will get a good assessment of what is going to happen inside the field. If you are not sure what position you should start for setting seed depth, here is the suggested starting point. If you are equipped with Borgo Tillage Tools Category 1 tips and their edge on seed boot, we recommend starting at hole number 8. That will give you about 5 eighths of an inch of seeding depth. This will vary a little bit depending on your soil and moisture conditions. In addition, we suggest 800 PSI is a good starting point for packing pressure. You will have about 320 pounds of trip force and allow you quite a bit of range both up and down if required. Do not attempt to adjust seating depth with packer pressure. Adjusting the packing pressure will not have a great effect on your seating depth. The proper way to adjust the seating depth from field to field or from product to product is to go to each opener and adjust the depth. The minimum hydraulic operating pressure of the drill is the setting at which the seating arms remain fully engaged during normal operation trips. Increasing the hydraulic pressure past this point will only increase packing force. It will not improve soil penetration. Increased soil penetration can only be achieved by adjusting opener depth. Excessive operating pressure may lift the rear wheels off the ground and adversely affect the consistency of the seating depth. Once the packer wheels are on the ground, the only way to properly increase seating depth is to change the depth of the seed opener.